Hello, Simon Butnell here with a short video offering three simple, practical tips for achieving more impact when presenting on Zoom or communicating through online video more generally. Prompted, I have to say, by a series of sessions today working with the fabulous Masters in Public Policy students from the Blavatnik School of Government at Oxford University. You know who you are. Six hours of sessions today in small groups working on presenting on Zoom. And a key theme running through the day that cropped up again and again was the importance of energy, to bridge that energy gap between where I am as a speaker, where you are as the speaker, and your audience, your listeners, because I can't know exactly what your environment is. There's a mismatch, if you like, between you and where you are and where I am. And the challenge is to reach people through the camera in order to keep people engaged and arguably to get their attention in the first place. So three tips that can help with that. The first is this, raise the volume, more oomph, just by speaking more loudly than feels comfortable will make a difference. We had a number of examples today in the working sessions at the, uh, with the Blavatnik School. Obviously it was all been done online because of the theme. So I'm in my office here in South London. They were based in Oxford. Uh, although one individual I noticed was based in the Maldives for this week, the wonders of modern technology. But, but we saw a number of examples of where just as a result of speaking more loudly, there was a cascade of benefits. So the feedback that was coming in from participants in the group as audience members were sounded more confident, more impactful, tone was better, uh, what else? more enthusiastic, yeah, sounded like you meant it more by taking the same content and presenting it with more oomph second time round. It was a bit like spot the difference. So raise the energy, more oomph, speak more loudly, and it will make a difference to how you come across in ways you may not even expect. Second tip, get yourself in a physical position that frees you up. Now, for example, right now I'm standing. Whether you can tell that or not, I don't know. You might not even have thought about it, but there are, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten boxes underneath my computer to get the camera to a level where I can stand and look straight into the camera, not down on it, not looking up at it, right? Get it as level as you can so you can speak to it. Now, you may not like it speaking while standing up to camera, but at least give it a go, try it out. It's a very different physical experience. And a number of people commented today on the fact that it just felt freer. They just felt more on the ball, more engaged, more on the front foot, if you like, versus just sitting down the whole time. You may even have found this on phone calls. If you stand up, I end up walking around the house when I'm on some phone calls, if they're long phone calls, it just changes the energy and, and will give you a better chance of communicating with some oomph. Third suggestion, and this is the biggie, and it's mindset related. Give yourself permission to mean it. <laughs> Use those silent words advisedly. It, connect with the meaning of what you're communicating. Uh, yesterday, I'm recording this on the 24th of November, 2020, right? Yesterday, the Executive Vice President for Research and Development at AstraZeneca, um, a man called Dr. Mene Pangalos was interviewed by the BBC on news of the Oxford University AstraZeneca vaccine, which has been in development for a number of months. Now, that, there's an amazing story there in terms of the, the potential for this vaccine to really be scaled and to, to save many, many lives because, for, because it can be stored at, 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 in a fridge. It doesn't have to be stored as a number of the other vaccines in development. It have to be stored at minus 70 degrees. It, it could be stored at, in, in a fridge. Imagine what that means in terms of portability for reaching uh, more remote communities, for example, and never mind remote communities, even in cities, right? Make logistically, that's a huge advantage. And secondly, price point, it's what, seven times cheaper, I think? Now it's not about competing against other vaccines because there's probably gonna be a combination of, of solutions here for this, for this terrible crisis that we've been going through. But the point is, it's just what, three pounds or $3 versus 20 pounds or dollars? Huge deal. And the efficacy anywhere up to 90%. Well. And this is not about me pointing fingers at Dr. Pangalos, right? The work they're doing, the work that Oxford University has been and is doing is extraordinary, fantastic. I'm biased. I'm an alumnus of Oxford University. So trust me, I want this to come across well. I found myself feeling flat when I heard the interview. He sounded a bit disinterested. Maybe it was just the stress of having to present on camera. I don't know. But eyes were wandering around. The voice sounded a bit like, yeah, well, we're really excited because it's going to make a difference. If you don't believe me, watch the clip. I'll put the, the, the link to the clip. I posted on this yesterday 
as well on LinkedIn. But I'll post the link below if you're watching this on LinkedIn in the comments section so you can see it. it, it in no way does the energy match the, the importance, uh, the positivity of the content. And I found myself thinking, what a missed opportunity. So be clear in your mind, what if you're presenting presenting for a period of time, which are the highlight moments where you can really get behind it and mean it and really show that you care about it or that it's important? Uh, with it, and it's all about the intensity of the energy. I don't mean you have to be really you know, happy, clappy or really amateur dramatics. I don't mean that. I mean, in whatever way, energy wise shows you speaking with intent, with feeling, because you really mean it. And I hope you can tell that I mean what I'm saying right now. That's not some sort of technique thing. I'm just in my mind, very clear about what I'm wanting to get across here, which is the importance of meaning it when you're saying something important. There you go. So those are three tips to consider. Volume, the physical space, do you stand or sit? And giving yourself permission to mean it. If you're watching this anywhere other than uh, my website, then check out simonbucknell.com. That's my digital home online or on LinkedIn. I would love to connect with you or follow me on LinkedIn. I'd be delighted. I'm looking to post as regularly as I can on LinkedIn with ideas, with video, as well as short articles. And pop a comment. You know, what, what have you found makes a difference for energy when connecting online? And give me a thumbs up if, that's, uh, if you like what you've heard. That would be super too. And in the meantime, I wish you well with your speaking and speak soon.